Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this diode circuit and we have been also given the characteristic of this diode. So here, we have been asked to find the ratio of this minimum to maximum small signal voltage gain. So first of all, let us understand the question. So in this circuit, we have been already given the characteristic of this diode. So if you see the characteristic, then this diode will act as an open circuit until the voltage across it is equal to 0.7 volt. And after that, it will act as a voltage source of 0.7 volt. Now in this circuit, the input could contain the two dumps. That is the DC dump and the AC dump, where the AC dump is the small signal dump. So we can say that this input is equal to VDC plus V signal. And based on this input, we will get the output. So this V signal is the small signal input and typically its input range will be in the millivolt. While this VDC will decide whether this diode is conducting or not. So based on that, we will have two scenarios. The first case is when this diode is in the off condition. So in that condition, let us find the output voltage of this circuit. So when this voltage across the diode is less than 0.7 volt, then this diode will act as a open circuit. So in this condition, this V out is actually the voltage between this node and this node. Or effectively, it is the voltage across these two resistors. So we can say that when the diode is in the off condition, then this V out is equal to this 2 plus 2 kilo ohm or 4 kilo ohm divided by 4 kilo ohm plus 2 kilo ohm times V in where this 2 kilo ohm is this resistor. That means in this condition, this V out is equal to 4 divided by 6 times V in. Or we can say that it is equal to 2 by 3 times V in. Now here, as I said, this V in is equal to this VDC plus V signal. That means if we see the output, then it will contain two terms. That means V out will have one term that is V out DC and the second term is small V out that is the small signal component. So in this case, this V out DC is equal to 2 by 3 times V DC while this small signal component is equal to 2 by 3 times V in where this V in is our small signal input. So if we differentiate this output with respect to V in, then this DV out divided by DV in is equal to 2 by 3 because this term is the static term. So this is the small signal gain when this diode is in the off condition. Similarly, let us find the small signal gain when the diode is conducting. So the second case is when this DC term of the input signal is such that this diode is conducting. And in that case, the voltage across the diode will be equal to 0.7 volt. So in this condition, let us find the ratio of this V out and V in. So let's say the input current is equal to I and the same current will also come out from this end. That means this current is also equal to I or in other words, the current through this 2 kilo ohm resistor is also equal to I. So now if we apply the KVL in this loop, then we can write this V out is equal to this 0.7 volt plus 2 kilo ohm times I. So that is our one equation. Similarly, we can also write the KVL equation for this loop. So if we write the KVL equation and it is equal to this V in is equal to 2 kilo ohm times I, that is the voltage drop across this 2 kilo ohm resistor plus 0 0.7 volt, that is this voltage plus 2 kilo ohm times I, that is this voltage. That means V in is equal to this 0.7 plus 4i and this is our second equation. So from the second equation we can say that this current i is equal to V in minus 0.7 divided by 4. So let us put the value of current i in the first equation. That means V out is equal to 0.7 plus 2 times this V in minus 0.7 divided by 4. So that is equal to 
point seven plus in divided by two minus point seven divided by two. That means V out is equal to this point three five plus V in divided by two. So once again, as I said, this input will have two terms. That is the DC term and the small signal term. That means this V out will be equal to point three five plus one by two times this V DC plus V signal. But here we are only interested in this small signal term. So if we differentiate this output with respect to the small signal term, then this dv out divided by dv in will come out as one by two, because this will become zero, as well as this dc term will also become zero, because this term is the static term. So the only thing which will remain is this one by two. That means whenever this diode is in the on condition, then the small signal voltage gain is equal to one by two. So in this way, we got two ratios. So this is the minimum ratio, while the maximum ratio is two by three. So if we see the ratio of the minimum to maximum small signal voltage gain, then this minimum divided by maximum is equal to this one by two divided by two by three, and that is equal to this one by two times three by two. That is equal to 3 by 4 and it will come out as 0.75 that means for the given diode circuit the ratio of the minimum to maximum small signal voltage gain is equal to 0.75